No, they easy did it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Sheriff, we know who you are, but uh, let's say just in case. Yes. <laughs> Bill Gore, Sheriff San Diego County. Perfect. Sure. Talk about uh, what do you hope gets accomplished with these meetings. I mean, these are pretty, pretty informal. Well, they, they, this is new technology in law enforcement. It's very important. Everybody, everybody walks around with a camera on their hip, and now our deputy sheriffs and our peace officers are walking around with cameras on their chest. And we're trying to find this balance between transparency and. and showing the public what we do for a living, especially in the officer of law shootings. And yet we're trying to protect the rights of the people involved. They have due process. If you're a police officer or a member of the community, you have due process rights. So what we're trying to do here is video is accomplish both things. We're trying to create that transparency and trust the public and law enforcement to come up with an appropriate time in the process after the law officer of law shooting when the video will be released. Which I think is a great breakthrough for San Diego County. The law, the public records request of California, says that the body worn camera video from a peace officer is part of an investigative file and generally they are exempt from release under the public records request. Pardon me, public records act. But we feel that's not appropriate. We're running those cameras to build that trust with the county. And so if they're not going to release it, we're not accomplishing one of the goals of the camera. So we think after the district attorney does her review, makes a, a, a finding where there's going to be criminal charges filed, if there's not at that time, that's when the video, uh, body worn camera video, will be released, or any other video that's gathered in the course of this investigation. So that's, that's what we're trying to accomplish. We're asking the public for their input. Uh, their observations, there's some work in progress, and if we can make it better, that's what we want to do. And it sounds like a county-wide, uh, including every city yeah. in the area. We, we're unique in San Diego County, where we have a uh, county-wide officer involved shooting protocol uh, that we all follow, uh, and how these are investigated, who does the review, and so we're adding this, this piece of, of uh, procedure into that protocol. What are we going to do with video evidence? It's a natural and it, 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 uh, it's a good vehicle to get this information out to the public. What have been some common uh, concerns or comments from the public? Have they been just, you know, like this police immediately? Like everything? Well, I, I think that the public has to realize this is new technology. There's been criticism. There's been occasions when officers have forgot to put on the camera. It's muscle memory. This is a new piece of equipment for a police officer. And uh, one particular shooting that was just uh, press was held last week, two motorcycle officers. They roll up on the scene, uh, a, a gentleman in a crosswalk points a gun at them. They were concerned for their own lives and the, and the lives of people around them. And yeah, it would have been nice if they'd have remembered to put on their body camera. But they were a little bit more concerned about saving their own lives than they did. But those are the kind of concerns because they say, what? Was the officer hiding something? Well, in that case, there was video that somebody took from an office building. The whole thing was captured on video, which became a part of the investigative file. Okay. So, and we released that last Friday. Is there anything I forgot to ask? No. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Good to see you again. Good, Good to see you. Sir. Take care. Hi, sure. Hi. Hi. Rob Rousey from Reviewer Magazine. Hey, Howard. From what? Reviewer Magazine. Oh, something for you. Um, I think it's a question about mm -hmm. a case. I think it's been closed for a long time, but that uh, suicide in Coronado with the, 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 uh, the mansion. And, uh, I'm glad to hear you said the suicide. Yeah, well, that, that was, it was determined a suicide, right? Yes, it was. And, um, I mean, that was yeah, the Spreckles Mansion and the yes, sir. Jonah Shack and I and, and, and even Rebecca Zahao was the young lady that like committed suicide. What an elaborate way to commit suicide. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, why do you think she chose that method? Well, uh, if you Google naked suicide. Okay. I'll do that. Because I've had people say, oh, a woman would never commit suicide by right. being naked. Well, you Google that, and, and it does happen. It's like down to four points. It does happen. And when they do it, they usually hang themselves. And it's a, it's trying, I think the best we can tell, I mean, you'll never know exactly what her thought process was. But as best we can tell, it was, you know, extreme guilt over the death of Jonah Shackney's, uh, what, eight-year-old boy that was in her custody. Yeah, it was in her custody. And I, I, I think that's what caused it. People say, well, why would somebody, you know, but let's put it this way, if it was a murder, why would you commit a murder and then make it look 
like a very unplausible suicide. If you're, we did. I mean, if you're uh, gonna make, might, do a murder, and make it look like a suicide. One thing was relevant. The other one, yeah. I hang her and throw over the balcony. Come on, Why might. would you make it so unusual and so so they question whether it really was? It's that, uh, it's counterintuitive. So, been and, and there was no physical evidence whatsoever to indicate that it was anything but a suicide. The footprints on the balcony were hers. There was no other fingerprints on the road. We proved that it's easy to tie yourself with your hands behind your back. Um, it, you know. What about the message on the, uh, the written on the wall? Never knew what that meant. We never, what was it? never what really it knew what exact, well, I can't remember the exact words, but it, Never, we never could figure out. Do you remember the gist of it? Are you yeah. allowed to tell? Yeah, well, no, it's been public. It's been, it's written about. It? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. It, huh? hey. Okay. Something. Like, you judge me, you judge me. I, I can't recall oh, right. the exact okay. stuff. Something like that. Yeah. But yeah, I know. There was a, and, and, and we waited. I tell you, I mean, you look at it, you go, this is really, you know. And we had the same concerns that everybody else. Did. I waited until we got the last toxicology exam in before. We would say it was a suicide because I'm thinking it makes sure she wasn't drugged and out of it, and people somehow managed to cover all their tracks of their system, clean toxicology reports. Just a very unusual case, and it had all the the appeal of the media. A naked woman, sensational. You had a billionaire boyfriend mm -hmm. at the Spreckles Mansion, mm -hmm. you know, half a block away from the Hotel Dell on the water. You know, right. it had all the, the, the ingredients to make it a, <clears throat> there's still people that I've given speech, they say, we just don't believe it. We don't believe it. Said, right, right. Said, so what, what reason would I have to lie? <laughs> but is, is it closed? Is it, it's it closed. can't be opened it is, again? It's closed. I mean, yeah. if something, there's nothing right. ever closed. Something came in. There's lawsuits going back and forth. Uh, uh, the parents of the family of Rebecca Zahau have sued now uh, Jonah Shackney's wife, mm -hmm. saying no, no, she no. murdered no, I don't think so. Rebecca because, you know, it just goes on. Amazing. Can I get a photo? Sure.